hey guys welcome back to your loves farms how you're doing i hope you're doing well and staying safe and take care of yourselves i am also doing very very well so guys it's always been um it's always great to come to you with a new video and in today's video guys you know what before i even start let me say that if you are new to my channel and today is your first time ever joining me please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you so that you'll be able to receive updates of when i upload new videos to my channel and to all my subscribers i just want to say many thanks to you guys for supporting me i really really appreciate you all and thank you so much for always staying with me and for those who have been commenting and leaving their questions for me to answer i really appreciate it as well because we're all learning from each other and as we grow as farmers it is good that we learn from one another which is very important so guys in today's video i am here to discuss and to let you guys know how things are going with us so we have decided to let our farm manager go guys yes we decided that it is time for us to depart with him for him to go and do what he wants to do and for also for us to also continue with our business because guys we realize that our farm manager does not share the dreams of our success when it comes to a poultry farm at first we thought that he shared the same ideas with us that is we want him to move forward so that he will be able to manage our farm as we expand ahead but as time has gone by we have seen that he does not share the same ideas or um, does not intend to follow us in achieving our dreams and that's the reason why we decided you know what it is time for him to move on with his life and go and do whatever he wants to do whilst we also continue with establishing and then improving and also making sure that our business moves on smoothly because at this stage of our poultry farm we cannot afford to be making mistakes we cannot afford to be taking things for granted as our farm manager has been doing our farm guys so from day one for those of you who have stayed with me from day one before being aware and i can attest to the fact that when it comes to our farm manager i have been praising this guy from day one of our poultry farm because he from the brooding period to the point of laying guys i'm not gonna sit here and say that he did not do anything this guy did an amazing job to the extent that we did not lose much of our chickens even from the brooding stages he did an amazing job and everything was good until when it goes to the point of laying that's when we realized that he was just being he wasn't he wasn't doing what he was supposed to do there were so many instances that happened but because we are in the uk and we did not live in the country we decided to entrust our farm to this guy to manage for us not that we don't have family members or people that can manage our farm for us but because we decided that we did not want to bring in family members but we rather prefer to employ someone who has got the expertise and knows how to manage farm because according to a farm manager he has experience for about 15 years and we did not just take his word for it we also went around asking the people that he used to work with in fact we spoke to two guys it was someone who recommended the farm manager to us in the first place and this person attests to the fact that the farm manager was good so that's the reason why we decided to give him a chance and we being away from the country we decided that you know what it is best that because he has got the experience so it will be best for him to stay there and also work, work with someone else work with two other guys at the farm to make sure that things happen but from the brooding stage to the point of laying things started going wrong guys so many things the chicken went from laying 90 percent to just 30 percent and every time that we asked this guy all the excuses that he gave was that it was due to the rainy season the chickens the, um, the um, shortages of corn or maize in the country the ingredients were not good in, in fact it was one excuse to the other it became so frustrating that we're not even getting money for the 2800 chickens that we have to even feed themselves at the end of every month we have to send extra money to add to the feed production preparations guys sorry about that the feed preparation for these chickens to eat and that is not right because we went into this business with the aim of expanding and if that is not going to happen at least the chickens should be able to feed themselves 
But when it comes to the point whereby they are not able to feed themselves, we are also sending money. That w- the money that is intended for expanding in feeding these chickens. I mean, guys, it becomes frustrating. And for some of you who are poultry farmers, you can all bear witness to what I'm saying. We go into poultry farm as a business to make profit and also to expand. You know what I mean? But not just to be wasting money every time and not seeing the results that you put in, um, put in guys. So, this guy, there's been so many instances. I'm not going to sit here and just bash him. No, I'm not going to do that. Because as I said, he did some good job for us. From the brooding period to the point of laying, this guy did a good job. So, I'm not going to stay on this video and talk bad about him. But there were cases, for instance, this guy was caught stealing 50 crates of eggs from us. Yes, guys, 50 crates of eggs. But upon all these things, my hobby and myself decided, now you know what, we should just forgive him and let him continue working for us. We forgave him. He apologized. The reason is sometimes he even forgets that we have cameras. So when we caught him, he was even shocked that we were able to catch him. And the same people that he was sailing with, they were the ones revealing these things to us so upon all the mistakes the stealing of 50 crates of eggs the stealing of some of the feed um, ingredients that he used to prepare the feed for the chickens we still decided to forgive him and let him continue working for us but we got to a stage that about two weeks ago we realized that you know enough about three weeks ago guys that enough was enough because despite him pleading with us to forgive him when he stole the crate of eggs he was still not even sleeping at the farm he leaves our chickens and go and sleep in his house and guys you know what this means anybody can come into the farm and steal the chickens that we have spent our hard-earned cash to buy for our farming business and when we ask him the only thing he says is that he'll make excuses because this guy never take responsibility for his actions and one thing we realize about farm manager also is that guys he is a pathological liar he lies without his being realizing that he is lying he lies and gets caught and still lies guys you know what i'm not gonna go in for long but what i just wanted you guys to know is that we have decided that it is time for him to go so now our farm manager has left he's gone and we've got the two guys that work with him doing the work for us at the moment we are taking our time to get another farm manager but right now the two guys are doing an amazing job and we are happy with them for now and our cctv camera is right there in the farm that we watch every day to make sure that things are working so guys thank you so much for staying with me i'll be with you very soon if you are new to my channel please subscribe and hit the notification bell i'll see you in my next video bye guys